माने भी तो वही बोला था हां बट आई डोंट नो द वे यू आर डूइंग अमिताभ बच्चन इज मिक्स ऑफ हिम एंड जैकी श्रॉफ नो दिस इज बीडू आल्सो इज कमिंग लेट आई विल टेल यू व्हाट हैपेंस विद अमिताभ बच्चन फॉर मी माय मिमिक्री ऑफ अमिताभ बच्चन इज एन इंप्रेशन ऑफ ऑल द पीपल हु मिमिक्ड हिम इन द लेट 90s आ आई नो आई नो ऑल दिस कॉमेडी टाइम साला आई साला हां ओए आई रिमेंबर दिस आई आई इमेजिन दैट गाय विद दैट फेक गोटी या 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 आई नो दैट गाय या दैट पार्टिशन पार्टिशन ही हैड एट लीस्ट ही हैड रियल Amitabh Bachchan's real hair is it's my obsession. It's, yeah, it's my obsession. Mine too, dude. And also, this is how ironical is it that the guy who tries to look like him tries doing that with his own hair. Own hair. Yeah. And he's still not even like one person as successful as him. Yeah. And it's some exclusive uh, wig, right? A uh, wig company that some Panama Papers was. This is yeah. why. This is why he was. Uh, this is the same company that does Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> <They're very exclusive. laughs> if the mold a, is not yeah, available now. <laughs> if they leave a signature, it's that you know it's them. You know all the top level. <laughs> I, I like the funny, right? <laughs> if the Kim Kardashian ass and uh, Big Butcher's hair was done by the same company, uh, yeah. like a portfolio. <laughs> and I like the idea of one guy <laughs> doing hair also and butt also. Yeah, like yeah. you know these, uh, you know these aggregators, right? Yeah. Like. A, <laughs> <laughs> like urban company yeah, for celebrity plugs yeah exactly like yeah, a, yeah exactly <laughs> like an urban company for like uh, celebrity malfunctions <laughs> we have yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything we will be there for you every day he comes and puts on the biggest like sir five star de dena ha ha exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> share the otp so that mr ramlal can start working you, know? <laughs> you can stay with that oh, ek shunya दो चार चार ओ या यू डू अ गुड इंप्रेशन ऑफ अमिताभ बच्चन दो बट या बिफोर आई फॉरगेट आई हैव टू स्टार्ट दिस पॉडकास्ट आई वांटेड टू स्टार्ट दिस पॉडकास्ट ऑन दैट नोट कंग्रेचुलेशंस कैन यू कैन यू होल्ड ऑन फॉर 1 सेकंड व्हाट हैपेन ओ या अगेन वी फॉरगॉट एवरीथिंग वी सेट अप बट टर्न्ड ऑन फॉर फॉरगॉट टू टर्न ऑन दिस इज व्हाई यू हैव यू लूसी इट्स सपोज्ड टू हेल्प अस यस व्हाट इज रॉन्ग विद यू The dog is off screen. Munjia par hai. And uh, I'm not this retard just talking to the floor again. Yeah, he's like, hey, the dog. What is it? Huh? Ah, uh, ha. Huh, sorry, you were saying. Congratulations for the 1, lowest. One thousand subscribers finally crossed the mark. You know. Now the money is pouring in. Like I have to find a false ceiling to keep the yeah, money. Yeah. How are you? Ta- how are you handling the success? What the, is going on? What is your mind process right now? This I know the boys played really well. One thirteenth <laughs> of where you are. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, nothing, dude. It, it uh, one thing I like is it was organic growth. Ha. Huh. It's huh. good. See, that's good. Yeah. I thought you were gonna talk like Rohit Sharma. No, he. 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 <laughs> मैं वो हो गया तो मैं खुश इट स्टार्टेड रूड या नो नो आई एम या चेक योर आई कैप्ड इट अ 5 एंड अ हाफ या या इट्स परफेक्ट इट्स परफेक्ट या या कूल दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो व्हाट इज योर नेक्स्ट टारगेट सिंस यू अचीव दिस 
what is next in aditya natarajan's uh, just want to <laughs> save the world from poverty hunger oh world uh, peace yeah get all the virgins uh, laid yeah. you know that kind of stuff very good miss nagar goel <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our next girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> most I'm Steve Harvey of Nagar Coil Beauty Pageants. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, so you know what? You lost to Elephant Room podcast in this race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like a thousand subscribe Elephant Room hit before us, which is collective hard work. Yeah, it's yeah. yours. Yeah, uh, and uh, your page as well. So the thing is, now how? What is your step to beat Elephant Room podcast? Well, is there any message you want to give to Elephant Room podcast? Like, I'm coming for you. Uh, I don't know. People who are subscribed to Elephant Room and not me, can you unsubscribe to Elephant Room <laughs> and subscribe to me for some days until the ego feels better? Yeah, that is so fucking pissing off, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, of course, there are like some people like for clear statistics, where people are subscribed to your podcast, <laughs> but not to your stand-up page. Yeah, like it's like they're like I'm putting out stand-up like <laughs> crazy, right? Yes. And people are like. Mm, We'll take your sketches. Uh-huh. We'll take two kgs of the podcast. Yes. The stand-up नहीं चाहिए. नहीं free आता इसके लिए. नहीं चाहिए. नहीं धनिया पता नहीं चाहिए. नहीं चाहिए. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, any more videos upcoming? What is this thing? Uh, maybe I'll. I'm record. asking you questions even though I know everything. Yeah, I'm yeah. asking you like a fucking bastard. So uh, ever since I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> yes. That's what I wanted to hear. Like, did when yeah. did your mom tell? Like, you know these. Uh, uh th- have you seen this movie dil dhadakne do ha yeah yeah and uh, this uh, anushka sharma has this monologue haan. when he, uh, any uh, ranveer asked how did you get into this hmm. main jab 4 saal ki thi na hmm. just speaker on karte the aur main speaker ki taraf bhagti thi did you also have a, a day you were tira no when i was a kid it was always like uh, people used to be like vakar universe ka action karke dikha oh, vakar universe ka th- no, no, action for, for us it would be weird like <laughs> mr I... universe mr universe vakar universe <laughs> sorry <laughs> no i was thinking for us it would be weird if we had the same thing when you were, when if you would tell us or me would tell i would be like jab main 4 saal ka tha mummy ka lipstick leke yahan tak lagata tha <laughs> like, do you go the scars <laughs> What happened, Lucy? No, hey, 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 yeah, ma, no, no, don't move, mind. move. Go, ah. Ah, relax. Yeah, no, but uh, I used to do mimicry a lot. Did you do mimicry as a kid? Ah. I used to mimic uh, like bowling actions. No, for uh, me it was never. Voices. I never mimic a celebrity. I would mimic the people in my life. Yeah, yeah, I've done that I, too. I, yeah. I would do that the most, like my Hindi teacher. Huh. So I would mimic them a lot. Like even in school, my HO, like not the HOD class teacher. Huh. I was uh, imitating them a lot in huh. college also. I would imitate the people in my life. Yeah. I would never imitate the like I would like maybe for sometimes I would imitate Rajni Khan huh. when I was a kid. Uh, yeah. I mean I would try. Who wouldn't? Yeah, yeah. I would try for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> like you know. Mm. Like, hey, 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 Anthony, 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 Anthony. All that shit I've done as a kid, but comedy as such never happened. Dude. It was never a. It, it most of the comedians in India at least just came it by chance. Yeah, yeah. For me, uh, when I was a kid, the uh, the idea of telling a story and uh, knowing which story to tell to get a definite laugh ah. that everyone does. Yeah. But some people are more inclined to be like, "Ye story me achhe se bolunga." Correct. Yeah. But there are some people who are like, "Those oh. are storytellers." Yeah. Uh, comedians are like, they are also storytellers. I'm yeah. Over. But we are more like inclined towards the humor part of storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are more inclined in the drama. Huh. Where where we exaggerate, you know, where you know, has it ever happened to you that? Let's say something happened in front of you and me. Ah, uh, okay. I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> But we go to third yeah. place and, and tell a completely different story. Yeah, and then you have to just be like, "Yeah, I saw it. I was yeah. there." Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. That <laughs> unsaid understanding is the true friendship. Yes, exactly. Hundred yeah. percent. All my friends have done that. Yeah. Like uh, once I started comedy, I would exaggerate a story. They'll be like. Mm. You know what? That detail was funny. <laughs> I'm glad you added that little fictional detail, masala, masala which made the story more yeah. interesting. That's true. We all done that as comedians. We always search for stories, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred. I, I have to stop saying hundred percent, dude. I've gotten it. it's like yeah. a fucking venom thing. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten it. Like uh, that day, I was uh, going around. So I, I was telling Kavya something, and I was like, "Yeah, it's deadly." She's like, "Please." You both need to stop taking each other's <laughs> vocabulary. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I have a lot of Bangalorean vocabulary. I have like deadly, belted. Huh. Oh, matcha, see, na itra. What What is that? Uh, uh, wh- I I used to be roommates with a couple of guys from Bangalore, and I had no idea about the Bangalore terminology. But that English has that uh, a one bun only he gave off. No, oh, yeah, yeah uh, all this is there. What is bun? Bun is hat. Acha, oh, hat de diya usne. Ha, he four o'clock. He said he'll come. Ah, wow, nice he, bun he gave me, dude. Ah. I was there till five o'clock. He didn't come only. Okay, when my friend used to be really pissed, he used to said, "What? You're thinking of giving me cream bun for Goa trip?" Ah. 
exactly that is ultimate hat yeah <laughs> cream one is ultimate hat yeah that is uh, klpd yeah klpd yeah. correct correct yeah. that's exactly what so bangalore town is very funny dude it's like much we went there one scene happened dude ha ah, dude every scene you don't know what like it's a fight ha ah, yeah scene yeah. happened is for fight <laughs> Uh, no no and then we like bro i'm telling you bro right uh, now machan that girl little ha uh, we are like all this like and that other telegraphic thing, language yeah and also like a camera saturday will put one scene will send it only will will send or put will put one beer ha uh, will we'll send put one j one quick trip around nandi hills will put uh, and come <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is thing. I'm like, Macha, morning will go, afternoon will come off. That one, Ma- Masal Dosa will belt on the way. <laughs> belt paste. Pe- will belt on the way, uh-huh. and this is how Macha. Hey, Macha, Pico's beer is psych, bro. Next uh-huh. level, bro. It's a very common Bangalore uh-huh. uh, terminology. Hey, it's getting late. I'll cut now. Uh-huh, yeah. I'll cut now. All uh-huh. this shit is there. In in uh, Pune, the thing for like fight is uh, are a full matter. Okay, I'm paying. Matter matter here also. Ha. In Tamil, they say matter. No, much a matter. It's ra. Ha. It's. If you immediately, if you want to call for backup, ha. You like much a. I mean, also da or matter. It's can you come. Understood. Everything. Yeah. Quick yeah, you, cuts off. You can already imagine a duo being started <laughs> <Yeah>. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> And the guy before he comes to the fight. Yeah. He'll turn off the scooter. Yeah, like uh, Ajay Devgan and. Uh, What is that? We sing them. Sing yeah. He'll like turn it off and side stand out. He'll get off. The non CG and physics version of yeah. that in real life is you take out the side stand before the vehicle has come to stop. Come to stop. And yes. then once the vehicle has come to stop, one yes. swift motion. No, no. For Dio, you don't even count leg outside. You take the leg inside. Ah, your leg. Your leg is uh, immediately comes off, so it's quicker. Also, North Indians don't understand this, right? Which yeah, is, yeah, very funny. This right. and uh, hey, 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 this one. Ah, uh, that one they don't uh. understand. It's a, I think Rahul Robin has a joke now. No, no Rahul Robin has a joke very similar to that. I was in Chennai and I just fire. This lady picked a fight with me. This guy and he's like, "Inna da." Huh. And he has jokes. I don't remember yeah. the jokes, but he has an observation on that. So the yeah, the thing is, it's a, that's a very Tamil thing. That uh, and also this is very. If you're a Bangalore, you'll know this also. Gun troops, Ashok Nagar, yeah, yeah. all that area is like. Bezar Ichpa. I think uh-huh. Danish did a real not Cholranga boys. Ha, Cholranga. The like Cholranga boys, yeah. boys is that area. Na Cholranga. Na uh-huh. Cholranga. That is a very that and I saw that reel. I'm like man, we, this is all we did in school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this guy has like hundred k views on that. Hundred k share, sorry. Hundred yeah. one million views on that. I'm like ugh. The the thing about Pune is though that Marathi is close enough to Hindi, uh-huh. but the intonation, the attitude, it's not at all Hindi. So people don't recognize people who don't didn't grow up speaking Hindi in Hindi circles. My all my friends who went to like uh, English medium schools but hung out in Marathi circles, uh-huh. they their Hindi sucks. Like you can't even under, you get it from context. He'll be like, "Arey, I can't go outside. Today, I'm very angry. Oh, okay. I don't even understand. I'm very angry. 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 In Marathi, oh, and so it's a like, mix match of all. Yeah, and I'm like, why did you, say, why did you say bukhar aga? He's like, arey, me, me ko samjha nahi ki wo. Like, Galat bola. Me ko pata nahi chala nahi. Me ko samjha nahi. Me ko samjha. Ha, that ha. is a Mumbai thing. Yeah. Me ko samjha nahi. Wo that is. So one, one, one time this extremely Delhi guy, you know, he's he came and we were eating Chinese and this guy is like, bhai sab, ek minute ab bata denge yahan pe City Pride Kothrur Theater kahan padega. Uh. And my friend is like, "Arey, it's simple. Hey, idhar se saral jao, <laughs> circle ke bahuti phiro. Phir uh. bahuti phirne ke baad ujwe baju mein jo padega na, wohi chhe city pride." And my friend, that guy is like, "Huh? <laughs> circle bahuti? What is bahuti phiro?" I, I lost my biro only. Like, yeah. Circle the biro, the biro kaha hai circle ke baad? Saral jao, sida jao. Oh, saral jao, sida jao. Saral is straight. Saral jao. Haan. Saral jao, circle ke bahuti phiro. <laughs> you need turn go around yeah, the I circle more from the hand gestures <laughs> yeah, than the work circle ke bahut hi phiro ujwe was right side ah ujwe right is right side what uh, left dawe dawe kade ujwe dawe this is very flintstones vibe bro this language very <laughs> different dude very yeah. different and uh, like uh, you know delhi chandni chowk right yeah. chandni chowk ke chandni ke chamche chandni ah. ke chowk it's the it's like chandni ke chandni chowk ah. chandni chowk mein aa jayega tu if you are from haryana you're like chowk mein aa jao chandni ah, wale chowk mein milta hai na chowk aa jao pune also has a chandni chowk But it's Sandani Sauk. So Sandani Sauk. Sandani Sauk. Oh, there is no C. There is S. This. Ch- ah, that's why like S and C, C mix. mix. Yeah. Sandani Sauk. Sandani. Sandani Sauk. Ah. Oh, Sandani Sauk. Interesting, bro. Mm. I didn't know this at all. Like this, uh, Pune had so much culture and variety. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've never been to that city. That's why I'm not like in a. Fuck. Oh, Pune. Pune has culture. Not yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. And English is also like very similar to Bombay English. Nothing different. Like mad or. Or like pretentious. Ha, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 
No, Matter that I like what you are. I like the Bangalore English is also a bit pretentious only. Hundred percent. It will like. <laughs> It's, it's imagine they, imagine this podcast goes viral in case if it goes ever viral they'll be like oh, people would do shots every yeah. time Aditya <laughs> Rajan says 100% oh no. shit we should <laughs> next time we put out a story saying what's the whole episode is like what's the whole episode on a friday night with friends at home ah, and every, time shots, says, uh, every time Anand every time Anand says uh, what would you say i used to say unbelievable uh, un- unbelievable unbelievable yeah. unbelievable 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 oh that's un- i actually had to consciously stop myself yeah. from saying that word but But now I've caught on to 100%. Huh, surely, surely. <laughs> yeah. Surely you have. Yes. Yeah, it I'll is a very catchy uh, phrase. It's a what very, you know what, it's not a catchy, it's very easy to agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. I agree is not that as convincing as 100%. immediately 100% is convinced. and we are not uh, gen z people to be or gen z not gen z but we are not like those kinds of people who would be like yeah totally dude totally the no totally, fucking way no totally way. totally totally i you have to wear like uh, you know uh, sneakers to say those words <laughs> you can't say totally wearing uh, slippers <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally yeah That's wearing it. slippers you have to be like yeah Yeah. Yes. 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 Not even yeah. Yes. 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 Correct. Hundred percent. Correct. 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 You are right. Yeah. And uh, you can't go too formal. Yeah. You can't be like I second that. Oh, do that yeah. is worse. Absolutely. I second that is uh, you have to wear suit. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very corporate environment. Have, I second that. You have to wear a suit. You have to carry Let a laptop. Let me circle back to that. Let's circle back to that. Huh, so Can we put a pin on it? Uh, 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 let's uh, double click on that. Double click on yeah. that. Uh, great idea. Put a pin on that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me a better way to reject something. <laughs> That's a very good question. Question. Uh why don't we take this offline? Offline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, trying to be respectful uh, respectful of other people's time uh Why don't we take this one on one? Yes, exactly. All these are very uh, formal. Yeah. I, 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 मतलब my exposure to corporate lifestyle is very less. Huh. It's but since it's very less, I consume a lot whenever I have to like, attend these meetings with HR and their boss yeah. for a comedy show. And they like Anand, our community, uh, our uh, workforce, huh. our community, huh. our uh, our employees. We like. family yeah you know what i know and you know we uh, uh we are people from all bases of the country you know all dem- our demography is pretty open and we don't want to specifically cater yeah. to one group so we'd <laughs> like it to be english english we like I, it to be respectful to women yes to people who we are deliberately paying less yeah. so don't bring up money <laughs> jokes <laughs> so to people who've not oh. been promoted so don't talk no. about uh, hierarchy that was so true dude i i think the not paying is like i remember uh My friend uh, switched jobs. She was working here, and then she went abroad. Hmm. And she was telling me like, bro, working here they don't have parties only like you know company parties or like company lunch and like company dinner. They don't have anything like that. Anand, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I look, I literally spoke to her. I'm like, I, you know why, dude? You know like why? Because they're paying you well. Yeah. That's why they're not taking your lunch. Like yeah, we given you enough money. Go have fun. India, they don't pay you well. Yeah. That's why they're like, oh, we will give you one lobster day. and w- th- that will be on some corporate uh, concession price oh i i can imagine the hr sending everyone and then paying by sodex do you think dominos is in business in india because of drunk people no, no it's corporate, corporate people yeah true true yeah you yeah. you've seen those uh, zomato uh, large order fleet a big car like thing a uh, cart like thing comes uh, uh, um, they are ridden uh, yeah, yeah yeah very weird yeah it looks like a very weird science project yeah <laughs> Oh fuck! Yeah. It, it it, you know, you know what it looks like. It looks like those. Uh, if it was open and the racks, you could see yeah. that would be the thing that would carry the suitcases to the plane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it yeah. looks like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. correct. True. Uh, actually, hundred boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Take a shot right now, bastards. <laughs> If we were taking shots, it'd be uh, drunk. I'll be drunk in minute third. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but that's literally like it's true. Uh, Dom- Actually, nowadays drunk people don't even order from Domino's. Yeah, no, no, no. It's all like uh, now garden like Olio, Olio, uh, Pino's Pizza, Brick Oven, Mad, Brick Oven, yeah, Mad something. The one more thing is there, no? The one with the more cheese. That's for drunk people. Ha, huh, that is. Oh, that that is this one only. Domino's. Uh, no, uh, Domino's. No, the other one, the one recently came. It's a. It, it's from if I eat club. Ah uh, yeah yeah it's, it's it's similar to this one only uh, brick oven type naami hai ha something uh, like that mojo's pizza mojo's pizza yeah, yeah, yeah. mojo pizza that is drunk people's uh, yeah. because they are so smart they are like you know what they will uh, the indians that's the biggest problem you know what they'll get drunk they'll be one vegetarian yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to cater to that yeah. so you know what we'll do half 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 yeah. will be non veg half yeah. will be veg yeah. and you know what that will they'll click on and 100% will click yeah, yeah. and if you sit with five people and try like bro veg and non veg both are there bro just order that shit yeah. <laughs> so mojos is made for drunk people 
and and uh, dominoes brick oven is if you want to get laid Oh yeah, yeah. If, if you want to get try, laid, you want to impress the chick. If you're if you're telling the if you if you want to impress the girl by saying oh, this is not just any pizza, this yeah. is Napolitana pizza. Yeah, so, I don't. I like thin crust. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like shut up, you bastard. Yeah. I know you want cheese in that fucking crust. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't lie. If he's saying he likes thin crust, he's like uh, if some, the girl says I like thin crust. Oh, you like New York style? I'm I'm more Napolitanian yeah. kind of guys. <laughs> Shall <laughs> you like shut up, Maradona? <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing. You like so that I've seen like uh, brick oven is to get laid. Yeah. It's like all like you if you're having a party and there's like you're hanging out with these people for the first time or second time. Yeah, yeah. That's when you order brick. Yeah, oven. if the friends were coming home mm. and they're like mm-hmm, only two BHK, huh? Ah. They're like, uh, but I order from brick, brick oven. oven yeah. Yes. If you have a college friend and a school friend, you're like shut up and eat Domino's. Fucking shut up, dude. Is me. It's 450. Me extra cheese be aata. So I'll shut up and eat. You'll do that. Like yeah. very, or you might try something that you've never tried. That's how I started eating pizza. B- back in the day when pizza ordering through landline ah. was a new thing. Like yeah, maybe this is in India or US? In think? India, ah. only yeah. Domino's and Pizza Hut are that. Only no? Domino's, Pizza Hut, and Pizza Hut used to have four, uh, 200 rupees four pizzas, ah. all personal pizzas. Correct. So you can get veg, veg, non-veg, non-veg, ah. four pizzas, 200 rupees. He'll come in that one thing and just to save that thing that holds the pizza ah. dabba, that three, this thing, for that only I would order. <laughs> I'd like if I get two, three, I'll make crafts yeah. with this. Uh, oh, Every drunk. I mean, pizza is the best for getting drunk, bro. It's every yeah. after getting drunk, the safest choice to it, order. No least it, you, effort. You think about you think about how Domino's made it in India. Paresh Rawal used to do the ad. Dana na 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 din. A pizza aye free. Are you really serious? Dana na na din. I have a no idea. A pizza aye free. Hungry kya? Huh? Hungry kya? Domino's ko matter karo. 30 minute mein nahi aayega. To ah, free. free. That one I've realized. Yeah. That one I've seen during cricket matches used to be famous. One guy is like, "Bahar barish ho rahi hai." Traffic is very bad. He will fix the call. He's like, yeah. Domino's Pizza, order karoge, 30 minutes, okay, run. And then he'll wait and 29 minutes he'll come. Yeah. And that I've seen that ad though. That's yeah. what I've seen. Same, same series. Same, same series, series of yeah, ads. Yeah. Oh, dude, back in the days, those ads were very good, bro. My favorite was Fevicol. Fevicol had the best ah, ads. Yeah. They simply had Fevicol and even this one, Doctor Fix It. it they doc- also had deadly. Oh, doc- Doctor oh, Fix ba- It. Bar- 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 MC, MC. Is that Doctor Fixed or MC? MC, MC. MC, yeah. ah, yeah, I'm sorry. One of those water. Uh, one or zero, Papa. One or zero, zero, Papa. One. Oh, no, 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 no. And that guy is very funny. Good. Yeah, actor, Manoj so. Pawar. Manoj yeah. Pawar. He is yeah. the guy who made the who said the iconic. Not quote. Pawar. Pawa. Pawa. As yeah. one of those Pune guys. Punjabi guy. guy. <laughs> no, he's Punjabi. Punjabi. Yeah. Oh, good. No, he had the iconic quote in one of the podcasts. Where he Which said, uh, uh, "Ham to waise yaar ek cha, teen char packs nahi hamen nahi bharta." Yeah, ham quarter pite hain. Nahi, ek to ya ham rahe ya bottle rahegi. Ah, okay. And I was yeah. like, and I saw the tummy. I'm like, you can say that, dude. I trust you. And even uh, he's in that podcast only. He said that even though he started making money, he met one of the actors that he was friends with before, uh-huh. like Manoj Bajpayee or someone mm-hmm. that kind who had made it. And they're like, "Kya red level manga?" He's like, "Abe yaar kahan pachegi hamen? La old manga ra quarter ek liya." You meet those kind of actors, right? You truly understand how good, uh, th- how much they enjoy acting. Yeah. And not the things that come along with it. Yeah. They yeah. actually, disp- they, it's not like they don't want the fame, yeah. but they're kind of not so keen on the paparazzi. They don't want to become a different person. Yeah. yeah. They, and I've seen those people, the way they have, like, they just hang out, they just like chill. Like, like uh, I'm, yeah, I'm uh-huh, not gonna yeah, act. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Vijay Raz is a good example. Oh, dude, yeah. I've seen them. People trying to take selfies with him. Ah, oh, like, you are, like, are like, <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's damn funny. Have you seen that? Uh, you know this Kicha Sudeep? Haan, yeah, Kicha Sudeep. Haan. Yeah, the Ega guy. Yeah, so yeah. he also has a very funny video. Haan. It's nothing. He has also hardcore fans. He's going somewhere in Karnataka for shoot. He's sitting in the car. He's smoking a cigarette. Okay. Haan. His fans come and splendid. He's like, Anna, chai gidi rana. Want to, don't to fan rana. All that shit they say. And this guy, one guy is like, ah, okay, okay, okay. And then one guy is like, Anna, cigarette kurti rana. <laughs> and Kicha, hey, light maadi di ni gai. Parag lana, gadi na on. Nirde drag ho. Two drags I want. Haan, and yeah. then Kicha says he gave the cigarette. That guy on the bike. Took two drags. Hey, Kodro, I'm cigarette. 
ಸುಮ್ನೆ ತಗೊಂಡ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಮೋಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೂವಿ ಕಟ್ರೀನಾ ಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೃತಿಕ್ ರೋಷನ್ ಯಾ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ರೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೋಟರ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ and the rishan was sitting behind one guy came yeah. too close he's like durup bench durup bench and the rishan until that point was always like oh. ek mark ek mor do khan you know <laughs> <laughs> that guy well, what the director wanted me to do in this yeah. movie i really wanted to give my 100% <laughs> yeah you know laughing like that <laughs> I mean, like, 100% 100% yeah 100% yes. yeah i've seen that dude like all i don't know what you want on <laughs> i just don't know what you want <laughs> and then i like you and dil dhadak not dil dhadak ne though what is that movie uh, yeah. zindagi mil uh, dobara no uh, not that one uh, this one dude the acting one farhan akhtar uh, luck by chance ha luck by chance he, he has a very good role in ha yeah 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 his role is a ಅಂಕಲ್ ಆಪು ಪದ ಐಮ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಮೈ ಆಪಕ್ಕೆ ಕೋಯ್ ಬಿ ಮೂವಿ ಕರ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಜಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಹುತ ಬಡ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಹೈ ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ನೈ ಮಲ್ ರೈ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ನೈ ಮಲ್ ರೈ ಯಾ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರಣಬೀರ್ ಕಪೂರ್ ದೇ ಶೋ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ ಆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಹಾ ಜಾನ್ ಎಬ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫನಿಯಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ಯು ನೋ ಮೀ ಇಸ್ ದಾ ಫನಿ ಮನ ಮರ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸೀ ಜಾನ್ ಎಬ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂವೆವರ್ ಹಿಸ್ personality do john abraham is horrible with his fans have you seen like if he's walking with a security guard he pushes them yeah, yeah, yeah. he that, oh, i've seen that what a dick dude hey man see dude i uh, trying just trying to be the devil's advocate here yeah. indians also are not that great at uh, respecting uh, privacy fair enough you know a- anyone who's taken a train once uh, like you know in india will know that indians don't respect privacy bro i have have you seen that akshay kumar's funniest one no. i lost my shit who <laughs> akshay kumar's fan moment uh. <laughs> so akshay kumar is walking one guy is standing on the rail so uh. there's a protection and also he's standing over the rail so akshay kumar's height is here uh. he wants to take a selfie uh. <laughs> So Akshay was lower level right he's not yeah. coming so he literally held Akshay's face moved it like this and then take a he moved Akshay's face Akshay was walking like <laughs> and Akshay got beat him okay he literally dude how would you not hit someone of course, like, of imagine course. someone did that to you yeah, yeah, you're yeah. walking around and someone just like and I think it is so emasculating yeah, no? it's like and imagine like you're going to have a movie promotion you have to do because the producer asked you to do this uh-huh. shit and this happens it's like harassment Have you seen this shit dude when uh, he went <laughs> I can't believe that happened man. That's a true I saw that he just moved his face like you know <laughs> like a tripod Yeah like a tripod he just moved his face <laughs> Have you seen this one I have like I wanted to talk about this like uh where like south indian actresses go to inaugurate uh jewelry shops ha, 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 ha. Oh the crowd outside yeah, yeah. is just hooligans bro mm. It's yeah they want to go their entire life by saying that you see that famous egilist actress Ah I've grabbed her boobs. Yeah, something. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah, know. that's what they, because for men they're like, "Oh my god, he's my idol, he's my great." But for women they're like, "Mm." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, true. Because and that's how they're projected, navel ah. and dance and it's true. Mm. That is why we are like, uh, "Look at Kiara." I don't even know what the fuck to I yes and told I'm like, "Yeah." such creeps. No, ah, it, it and is my inner voice is like, "What about you, Anand?" Yeah. No. <laughs> Honestly I've never felt the need to do that even at my horniest do what to a, like a stranger to grab someone's I know of course part. man neither have I what the yeah. fuck are you saying no, I'm not saying I'm like saying, <laughs> he hesitated yeah. I did not okay no I'm saying like I, I, there are more, there are things that, that I've thought in my life hmm. oh it's not raining hmm. the things that I've thought in my like dating where like, oh this is romantic but girls are like no it's a bit little weird ha huh. okay 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 i'm just oh, saying that yeah 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 that that has happened to me also ha, that's what i meant by that yeah. and i's like and these guys the way they yell and all like oh i love you all that shit huh. and all and but it's all like it's a little weird so that's why i'm saying when john abraham is pretty rude and all no mm. i not 100% against you i agree i mean there is a better way to handle it which like some actors do that they're very smart with it yeah. because uh, they have bodyguards and the bodyguards are supposed to be assholes huh and they are like you come fucking a little bit near they will push you out they'll throw you and once the bodyguard has laid high and hands actors are like hey you come you want to take a photograph come Huh. and then that guy comes in full fury like yeah, because yeah. he's just been thrown yeah yeah, yeah. he'll come like that's Sir. that's the smartest that's the nicest way to do it yeah, that's especially like, in india because in india people are like is he a dick is he a dick yeah, is he a dick they just want to be like proof, yeah proof, you proof. know what just because he got fame he now he's an asshole yeah, yeah. they want to put that stamp on you yeah what about that guy who just jumped yeah. over 10 people to come 
Akshay Kumar wrote Oh, that is hilarious, bro. Yeah. Just, you know, like the way he did that. And Akshay Kumar is in his late 50s. Like, this is like an <laughs> uncle. You're doing this to an uncle. Oh, dude, it's hilarious. That video, as much because I like Akshay Kumar, has done some really good movies, but then he really went down that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. where he wanted to make like a shitload of money. Yeah. So then I think that, that, that treatment, I'm like, you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> you deserve yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not even uh, against it. I, that's the thing Indian fans are also like little because you see uh, like uh, American stars and all like uh, Ashton Kutcher right big enough star if Ashton Kutcher level of fame was in India that guy can't step out of his house he comes to his balcony and four people have clicked his picture of course Hunter, right yeah him and uh, his wife, what's her name? I forgot. The mm-hmm. cute actress uh, from Mila Friends. Kunis. Mila Kunis. Yeah, she's Mila okay. Kunis. Yeah, Mila or Myla? My, whatever. Mila Kunis. She became famous at Simpsons, no? That 70s show. No, no. That 70s show. No, no. Family Guy. Family Guy. Family she's Guy, the Meg. voice. Uh, the, that was like, uh, her voice became very famous. Meg. Shut up, Meg. Yeah. <laughs> that was. Ah. Even that, yeah. The incident about where Richard Gere... Uh, uh, Kiss Shilpa Shetty. Shetty, yeah. How? They blew it out of profile. In Hollywood, there is literally a scene where uh, co- uh, actors are coming on stage to announce a word and this guy grabs the other girl's tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he do that over here. Of course, the culture thing, I respect it. But it's okay. He, you understand he's a foreigner. Yeah. You know, and and you understand that Shilpa Shetty is not like some Indian... Uh, uh, you know, who has never stepped out of India and doesn't know the context of Yeah, she's of not this. the beacon for Indian culture. Yeah. <laughs> she was never the ambassador. I mean, she even practices yoga like a white person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she records it on the most weirdest position and then she tells them a tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's yeah. like, no, be, listen, like, yeah. focus on your breathing. And you're like, everyone like, are you really want me to focus on my breathing? Yeah. <laughs> why, then why is the camera right there? <laughs> you know, I yeah. watch some clips of it. I'm like, bro, you're selling... But then Cristiano Ronaldo also uh, grabbed and kissed Bipasha Bas, but no one covered that. But that's at a bar. No, that was also at a on stage at a function. No, that wasn't a bar when he grabbed her and kissed her. That oh. wasn't a bar. That was not in a function. So they met at a bar. Yeah, yeah I'd like to see John Abram do, do this that to, to him. Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you, he'll get from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so the thing is, and that's what like the way they got angry at Richard Gere and he was like, bro, I don't even know. I went to the US yeah. as soon as I did that. I think that the first time he faced any challenge, he would have been like, but I'm handsome. Yeah. <laughs> How, why when you? I do that, it's not creepy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually a true angle, dude. Yeah. When good looking guys do something, uh, it's not that creepy. It's not that creepy at all. Like, actually, it's not good looking dudes. It's where anyone good looking. Yeah, like dude, <laughs> my, my eyes and my face and my teeth uh-huh. and... My general vibe, if I don't open my mouth, you're like, oh my god, he's going to kill me. Ah, uh, yes. If I'm like signing... You are like the guy in the Mindhunter series. Uh, <laughs> the guy who crushed the guy head. Yeah, yeah, The main sure. uh, psycho murder. Why not? Why not? You, you yeah. have that vibe. You're yeah. like... Uh, have, if you see so you don't even want me to have 1,000 followers. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> no, he has a lot of followers. Yeah, <laughs> Those, have you seen Mindhunter? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's the first season, the last ending scene. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ed Kemper. Ed Kemper. That, that's the... Yeah. Like because he tells very articulate yeah, stories. Yeah, he's a little. He's yeah, like, he's well read and yeah. even describing a gruesome murder. Very eloquently. He talks about I penetrated my mother's dead, decapitated ha. head. Good diction, though. Yeah, good diction. That you can't take away from that murderer. Mm. Very good diction. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Say what you will about him. Yeah. Uh, See, and you also have good diction. You have like very interesting stories. Uh, have you ever thought you might be at Kemper? The glasses are there. I know. Do you know where the bodies are? Your buried? hand is there. A hand, dude. Come on, your hands. The biggest hands. Like just. Oh my God! Am I looking creepy? Dude. See, see the bigger the most. I know it's not gay. Already, people are commenting <laughs> saying kiss already. Okay. <laughs> On top of no, that. No, no. Hold this it like this. Hold it like. See, see. Thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you have big hands, dude. You're yeah. really a big hand. You have like Ed Kemper hands. You have like that crushable hands. Yeah, like slaps. When I slap people, and it's also like fat. See, that, you know, you know, a guy had slapped a lot of people for him to like when I slap someone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> no. I I will never say that when I slap someone because it has happened once or twice in my life put together. No, I will. The thing is, I've slapped very few people, but it has been a very memorable slap. <laughs> Some people have bled. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, uh, but, but what I was saying was, like, when I stand and on, on a road, if I'm just, you know, sometimes you zone out and you're yeah, thinking you're just thinking. Something. If I'm thinking, this is what my face looks like. Yeah, I know, I know. Huh. I think that's the face, uh, all our face. I also look very unapproachable when I'm zoned out. Yeah, and, stuff. and if a girl's passing by, she's like, who? She'll adjust like, her blouse and all. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what, what the fuck? 
But then if she comes to talk to me, I'll be like, ah, yes, sister, what do you yes, want? Sister. <laughs> huh? Okay, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did not mean to. You go straight only. Yeah, that straight only. Yeah. My, this is how my friends mimic me. This is ah, how I talk. Okay. Uh, in India, you know what happens in India? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, go, oh yeah, that, that's uh, a very good accurate. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> but I talk normally, <laughs> but I'm having to make an effort to sound like me. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> you know what you want? Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, my friends uh, mimicry of me is also fucked up it's they are always like uh, whenever someone is whining huh that that's what they share huh. i mean i'm not doing that yaar <laughs> oh shit dude <laughs> <laughs> that's how you say a definitive statement also yeah i yeah. say that and like like hey macha can you on the way can you pick up some hey, can you have a chai and some there's too much traffic da i can't on the way there da always asking me to do work and i'm just sitting there looking and i'm like wow hey why are you doing that dude <laughs> I have that very yeah. <laughs> every time every time I pitch a joke to you, you're like, why are you saying that first? Say that second. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, I don't have that nasal. Yeah, back. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, but that's their impression of me. They're like, uh, they're like, any time you call Anand for a work, he will whine. Huh. He will do it, but he will whine and will do it. He's yeah. like, uh, you have to get past the whining to understand that this is his natural course of <laughs> doing a work. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's yeah. not like he's not a. Oh sure, I'll help you out. <laughs> uh, what else do you need? I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah. Know that 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 destination exists. Yes. You have to tolerate him until we get there. We get there. Yeah, he yeah. will get you there. He will do the work, but he'll just on the way he'll whine. Yeah. Uh, my mom knows that the best. My mom and dad. Dad has catched me so many times. He'll be like, "Can you clean the aquarium today?" Yesterday only I did that. Why are you giving me again? <laughs> Say no. <laughs> then go to your bedroom. <laughs> and then when the your mid rant someone stops you you don't know how to react uh, it's yeah, like yeah, that yeah. bilbo's act out when your girlfriend is too angry and you yeah. stop her here <laughs> it's like that's yeah, how yeah. they caught me like my dad has done that quite a lot just say no we'll take it <laughs> that is the most pissing off thing in a relationship like my wife and i we both argue a lot mm. and we both are very like mm, petty like how i can't let you win yeah that satisfaction of like if if uh, if she's winning an argument yeah it's not even about the fight it's about the burns yeah it's about the burns the comebacks and if her arguments are landing really well yeah. and i'm in the wrong i'll just be like yeah i get it you can say that quietly also oh <laughs> 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 or i'll be like uh, can i finish is uh, it okay oh. no if you want to finish that's okay just <laughs> go into the tricks and trades of relationship yeah, go into the shell where you're suddenly very well put, put yeah. together and you're Ooh. calm until then you're like yeah. why you said <laughs> that about me you are you're suddenly like you're king jesse eisenberg from social network Uh, where you can put together a lot of words eloquently very fast but in a cunning way yeah. like have you seen like jesse i like that's uh, not jesse eisenberg that Mark is zuckerberg uh, no no that is the writer what's his name dude whatever i'm saying he sounds like him yeah. like he's saying the dialogues right yeah. not the dialogue writer i know who you're talking about aaron or something aaron sorkin Ar- yeah. aaron something yeah. yeah i know what you're saying yeah. but still jesse eisenberg is the one who delivering the lines how can you take away the fun from references sorry, man sorry <laughs> sorry brother sorry uh-huh. uh, yeah but jesse eisenberg does uh, in in that it's yeah, just now you see me he's pretty well like yeah that's the only way he can act there was a there, he was a guest appearance on uh, one of the episodes of modern family okay uh, where uh, the the gay guys uh, uh, michel and cam ah got it uh, they are very they waste stuff they have ac ah. they uh, and this guy is like super uh, environment friendly uh-huh. uh uses recycles his pee and that kind of shit so he comes gives them a lecture that lecture is him playing himself from social network oh really exactly that kind of acting nothing else got it when yeah, yeah he is very that uh, yeah. when a very thin guy uh, expression less like you know yeah. dead face very robotic like, robot and that's why i think lex luthor worked for him yeah lex luthor was a good role for him uh, yeah exactly because everybody in the comics lex luthor is this well built guy so like yeah. a, like like a, the news reporter from daily bugle in spider man ha huh, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah yeah very lex luthor looks like that yeah 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 but yeah. then suddenly they change it to the skinny guy and then he has hair in the beginning and then he loses it yeah yeah so that's like it looks very intimidating yeah. and that someone so skinny can take out take down superman that's that's a th- that's actually a, that's credit to the casting yeah they did a yeah. good job they like no no i think he look nice yeah let's take a call on that Well, otherwise they could have gone for these some guys who like you know uh, have you seen that Tom Cruise movie that he is a very lawyer military lawyer uh, what's that few good men no 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 that's the old one the uh. Uh, uh, military lawyer uh, recently where two movies came out on that 
it's a very famous name though jack reacher jack reacher correct yeah. so they made it into a series yeah yeah, yeah. you okay. see the actor of that no fucking the buff huge guy, yeah. uh-huh. buff guy like that and he's trying to be smart and all and he has this uh, like he has oh his, yes i saw the scene one woman is uh, withdrawing something ATM from and ATM, he just yeah. looks around like yeah. don't look at me don't talk to me are you being robbed and she yeah. oh, is there a kid in the car uh, and they just stay right there this will be quick and i'm like oh, oh then he walks behind uh, while walking and he then just, there's that pov shot of uh, the guy who's Uh, held her in the yeah. car he's just like sitting and looking at the gun bangs Bang. the window and so sam arrel spoke about it huh. he's like i am addicted to jack reacher because i know it's a shitty plot ha huh. the plot is not that great the thing is not that but ev- every uh, episode they have one of these kind of scenes which is so badass Huh. You would wa- end up enjoying that it. you forgive the rest you of the stuff. You forgive everything because yeah. that scene is so badass. Yeah. He's so smart. He's so strong. He's that guy who they'll put handcuffs. He'll yeah, yeah, he'll yeah. Break the handcuffs. Yeah, got He's it. He's that strong. Yeah. So it's very badass. It's like that for a. I totally get it for an unfit comedian. That is. The <laughs> I I I just wish that they did the flip of that sometimes just as a parody, just as a fun movie. Like you know how would they do a parody of that? Like Superman, skinny guy. Like get a skinny guy to play Superman, hmm. skinny guy to play Batman, like Danush as Superman. Hello, my sexy Tamil friend. Yeah. Uh, oh, from. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know the name. Yeah, yeah. I, We both know which movie. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my sexy Tamil friend. I'm like. Ugh. He was there for like one scene or something. Yeah, he's there in one main fight scene. Not main. One of the he fights uh, Ryan Reynolds. Huh. He fights Ryan Reynolds and the other lady. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Uh. Yeah. Um Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. He fights Ryan Gosling. Sorry, yeah. my bad. Not Ryan Reynolds. He fights Ryan Gosling and then one more lady. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Anna de Armas. Ah, Anna de Armas. They fight. He fights. She's uh, hot. Yeah. She's hot. She's pretty hot. Yeah. She's. Uh, have you seen Blonde? Uh, That's her biopic uh, of. Uh, what is the hot? Happy birthday, Mr. President. Uh, Monica Bellucci. No, no. Uh, 60s. Uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. So yeah. the biopic. Fuck, I'm forgetting names here. I don't even yeah. can't remember. Marilyn Monroe's biopic. She did it. So in the movie, it's uh, she has the nude scenes and all. Huh. And uh, she, you know that Marilyn Monroe had an affair with Charlie Chaplin's son. Yeah. And uh, he hates Charlie Chaplin. Okay. The son hates. And it's a Charlie Chaplin's son is a bisexual. Oh, very nice. So yeah. it's a threesome they'll huh. have. They are they all three of them are in a relationship. Charlie Chaplin. Uh, Charlie Chaplin's son. Is that another dude? And Char- Marilyn Monroe and Charlie Chaplin's son, all three are in a relationship. Oh, okay, okay. And then I think she betrays them or something. I don't remember the movie after. I, I, it was too much of uh, w- one scene is just too gore. Huh. Uh, like how producers were back in the day, like like uh, pre Harvey Weinstein. Huh. Oh, oh, like, that is even worse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What Harvey Weinstein did in comparison is like he at least would be like do it, otherwise you won't get the role. This guy, she walks and she wants to audition for this role. He just takes her head, puts it on the desk. And wow. then just starts fucking her. Oh. And that's the scene. They've shown a close-up of her face, like just a close-up of her face, and she's just like, and then she's just like, full in like that, and you're like shock, shock, shock. and you're like, okay, what the fuck? And then she takes it up, and she, they are like, oh, this is show business. Yeah, you gotta bite the bullet. They used to make her Marilyn Monroe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Go for it. Never stop yourself. Good jokes are like farts. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> What? Yeah, Sorry, I made the bad jokes are like farts. That's your uh, line, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, bad jokes, bad are, jokes like, are like farts. Like yeah. Good jokes are like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. So I seen like uh, I don't know what we're talking about. I forgot. We went all over the place, but we were talking about movies like uh, the fast talking movies. Ah, you know, when, social. Network. You say something, I say something. You say something, I, I say, say something. something. And it's always like well rehearsed. The, if that's your thing, like I like that kind of movies yeah. also. Like uh, you know how you can go on a binge of all David Fincher movies, for example. Oh, I love Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah. And uh, uh, Zodiac. Zodiac. Uh, seven. Seven. Uh, yes. Mind seven Hunter. Like, Mind Hunter is one of my favorite. Am- amazing. One of my favorite. Uh, uh, Panic Room. Have you seen Panic Room? Ooh, what a movie, dude. What a mo- dude. I- I've never seen like uh, up until then. Mm. Like of course, after that I've seen quite a lot of movies, but up until then, Panic Room was one of my favorite movies in terms of tension building. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a simple movie. Four uh, ba- this robbers. Thing, robbers in the house. You have a great room. You have cameras. How do you? That's it's it. It's actually like uh, 
Home Alone, yeah. but a drama. Yeah, um, Home Alone, but real. No, yeah, real. Yeah. No comedy. Yeah. Proper drama, tension building, thriller. I'll do you one better. It's Satam Poda Day. <laughs> but <laughs> oh man, oh I almost came. I just came. <laughs> When you say Satam Poda Day, I just came. Yeah. What an acting by Prithvi Raj in that. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, that guy became that guy got a good a lot of. He's a very good actor. Did not get a lot of movies though. Prat Prithvi Raj, no? No, not Prithvi Raj. The villain. Oh, the villain. He's yeah, there yeah. in Chennai, 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malke yo singada, ye lo roa. Malke yo singada. Ah, I know, I know who you're talking about. Is he the brother? Ah, uh, you know Shiva, right? Shiva hit on a girl. Uh, oh yeah, the girl's brother. brother. Yeah, got it, got it. Not pura. Nah, yeah. Not pura. I pretty pointy ana. Nambu ne nena. Beat la vandi pretty pointy ana. That's a great impression, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, that's all. Ipri pontiya. Ipri pontiya. Ipri pontiya. And you're watching that you're laughing my ass off. But yeah. So uh, Satham Poda Oh dude what a movie dude Satham Poda there. Please do check it out if you have not seen the movie. Translates. I think it's there on YouTube also. Translates to don't make noise. Yes. Yeah. So don't make noise. Yeah. Something Satham. Marilyn Monroe heard a lot <laughs> in the 60s from producer. Yes. Yes. So uh, like the whole plot line, the way it's shot, and even the locations of the movie. I don't know if you have watched the movie recently. I know it's been it's been like 15 years. Yeah. Years so the thing is, if for someone who stayed in a government quarter, they picked one of the best locations ever possible because your house is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like another house is at least hundred yards away, ha, ha. and uh, you are amongst nature. Yeah, nature is conquered. Once you soundproof the room, it's done. It's done, and yeah. what a what a locality they chose. And that scene, dude, where he is standing having tea with Prithvira Chauhan, huh. the hero of the movie. There is a wall, soundproof wall, and behind that is his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like. Ella and there are uh, all these god photos hung on that wall is like Ella our path par our path done are kare wow so yeah. lines are it yeah. he's like fucking around with prithviraj and that scene was like one of my favorite because the way they build that tension was beautiful yeah good movie good very movie. good movie where i but but uh, they don't make movies like that anymore in tamil though and also uh, in it, at least in indian uh, context there was a expiration period for movies like that where like slightly dark but still mainstream yes that doesn't exist anymore like for example zinda won't get made today zinda which one is uh, it it's the it's a copy of old old boy oh yeah no chance zinda will yeah. not but actually they shouldn't have made a remake of zinda yeah. because it was a it was written by very bad writers i would say because it was done by good actors but that uh, zinda is uh, sanjay dutt and imran khan right uh, no uh, john ibrahim John, okay, no, no, I'm talking about the other one. I'm talking about the Irfan, not Irfan. Uh, what is that? Imran Khan. This guy's bro, nephew, dude. Amir Khan's nephew. Ha, ha. Him and Manisha Lamba. Oh, kidnap. Kidnap. I'm talking about ha. kidnap. Sorry, I got kidnap. confused. Yeah. But yeah, uh, this one is Zinda is pretty good though. So, uh, Zinda, Zinda, especially Sanjay. Sanjay throw, is amazing. Oh, man. he's too good in that dude. Yeah. It's like the way he practices, the way he's just thrown out. I I still remember that scene in a coffin. The door will open and he's in. Yeah. He's out yeah. town. He's like. Yeah. Know. I still know that scene. And there is one the original also old original boy. shot yeah old, original shot it very differently. Uh-huh. The the Sanjay Dutt's character uh-huh. he enters this building. He has just killed like fifteen people from the lift. Ha. Uh-huh. Okay. And now he the lift opens. You're like oh someone has made it to that floor. And it's a narrow corridor and there are hundred more people. Ah, uh, same old boy. Yeah. No, it's scene to scene same. Ah. Uh-huh. But in Zinda it is shot from like. Either behind Sanjay Dutt or behind the guys who are ah, hitting him. Ah, the DOB was not capable. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> shamed him like a second. Some I'm guys getting, just put his I'm life getting, for. I'm getting, I'm getting. It was his interpretation of no, Ford because Boy. the thing is, see, uh, it's like Jackie Chan words. Yeah. When you take a too many shots, that yeah. means you couldn't choreograph. Yeah, that means the actors don't know how to fight. Yeah, they didn't know whereas, rehearse. Whereas, whereas in Old Boy, it is a side shot. It's a side shot, and every actor has choreographed that hundred times. Correct, correct. That's why every shot looks so real. It looks like Contra video game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, side. That's what it is. Two dimensional. Yeah. It was taken from Contra, like you know, just yeah. one thing, and you're running. Yeah, it amazing. Taken, it is good. insane. So they, that takes a lot of choreography. That takes a lot of time. Yeah, way before the camera starts, most of the work is done before the camera starts. Before and goes to the thing is even before they reach the set, it is done in a studio. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where they have rehearsed it like hundred times and then they have come here. That's because they have those stunt coordinators who does who do that pre visualization. Exactly, yeah. and they have to explain that visualization to director. Yeah, and yeah. And they are like, this is how I imagine, and the director like, yeah, this is. So great. they shoot us. Uh, they choreograph the fight and they shoot it and uh, give it like without any background or anything. Uh-huh. They give it in a general setting, which helps. Uh, the Director understand how the blocking will be exactly for the exactly. So 
that's what they when you choreograph it that's what you're saying the whole blocking should be done like that yeah. and every character has been told what is his uh, the move where he has to come where he has to fall hmm. and then some improvisation is there Mm. That depends on the actor. Actor will be like, in this scene, I fucked up, but I will improvise on top of it. Yeah, It'll yeah. look more natural. Like, for example, like, you know, there have been sometimes there'll be scene where he'll punch and the actor will be like, I can't keep fighting for the whole five minutes. What if I get punched and I take a break? Huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I don't know if that's improvised or choreographed, but it's, if it's both, it's great. And uh-huh. cut to India, okay? Uh-huh. Dilwale Dulane Li Jang, only one fight scene is there. Where okay. is the fight scene? The last one. Where, ha, 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 where his, uh, uh, that Before Amish Puri leaves the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That fight scene happens. Choreographed by Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, that's why you he touches him and Shah Rukh Khan's like... Are you so serious? It's choreographed yeah, by Shah It's choreographed Khan. by Shah Rukh Khan. Do you know that... Uh, what is that scene, dude? Uh, My name is Khan. Uh, yeah. There is a movie called My Name is I Khan. I know that. Right? Which there is a football is? scene, the POV shot. Huh? That is choreographed and directed by Shah Rukh Khan. Oh my huh. god. So this is what happens when you... Actors, you get so big that you try your hand at everything. Yeah, like... And if Kamal Hassan does it, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Although even I don't want him to do everything. I don't want him to do everything. It's yeah. like that whole in the 80s, remember TR? Huh, TR Rajendra, he used to do everything. Yeah. One or two movies was good. After that, everything was crap. Because you just cannot... A film, so many departments, you cannot do it by yourself. For your first film, you you have everything planned out and it's and in you your head. That's you can execute you've been writing for like a like hundred years. years. Yeah. yeah. So you have like, you've thought about every little detail. After that, you hit the success, you're like, okay, I want another movie in one yeah. year. From writing to like, uh, production. There's no way you can do it. So that's why I understand. And also, dude, uh, specialization is the next big thing. Yeah. You do your sh- And trust me, when directors sit and they talk to DOP or they talk to someone, they come and give ideas like, so why don't you shoot like this? I read the script. We can do this. I've thought of something for your script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Director will be like, man, thank you. Yeah, good, good. You know, you're good. making the movie look fucking insanely yeah. good. So that way, I'm on board on that. So, sorry. Circling back to the corporate reference. Ah. That's called subject matter expertise. SME. SME. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, I met a college friend of you mine. You have been in corporate office for how long? 13 years. 13 years. Jam. Two years. I mean, mm. so not even corporate properly. I was yeah. in a civil engineering setup. Mine, uh, mine was a startup. When but I I'm like, you're, you're planning to quit your job. Do you have any idea how, how it's going to be? Like after you quit your job, do you have any idea how it's going to be? Yeah, I have a very fair idea. Uh, good. Uh, so you've thought about it? I've 100% thought about I've been dying to do that because, see, I'll tell you what, I'm anyway at home all the time. Huh? And oh, after struggling for the first two years, I finally figured out how to be productive, how to get shit done. Okay. Right? With work, with family and everything uh. and doing sports, I still get a lot of our editing stuff done. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's I know how to be productive. The problem is not the corporate job also. It's not like I hate the job. Ah. I like the job. I like the people I work with. But it has an experience. I don't want it to get to a point where I don't like it anymore and I desperately quit. Ah, yeah. Fair enough. Either you can live long enough to become to become a villain. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my only idea is because I know that the whole thing is like as someone who's done that for the last eight years of his life, yeah. where comedy is the only thing. I uh, can't believe I said that eight years, man. Shit. I want to take it back. Can Two I World see? Cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two eight years is doing. And uh, you think you have a lot of time in your hand, but you have way more time than that. Oh, you have, you're saying? Yeah. It's like Zinda only. You're in your room. Huh. Because the thing is, I'm talking about unsuccessful <laughs> comics. Okay, I'm not talking about successful <laughs> comics. Okay. You're comparing yourself <laughs> to, to Saan, Sanjay Saan Dutt. Dutt in <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is like that only, dude. You're in your room, you have a tennis ball, you're just like playing. Uh, you, think, you will ri- you'll think of writing every uh, day, you'll th- say, dude. Uh, two hours, you're like, I will write every day, two hours. Uh, and someone, at least you have like uh, co-curricular activities, habits. Like yeah. you read a book yeah. and do that. I you know, so For me, it was only movies or podcast or comedy. Hmm. I would never like, for me, that going to a book never happened of course you no. know so it was like just sitting there what? this would be my afternoon so, like 11 a.m what do you do at 11 a.m i would and the thing is i would like uh, go to play football huh. imagine i go like this is like i'm telling 27 28 when i was like huh. uh, okay i would go to play football in the morning i would come back you know take a shower have breakfast and then maybe like try to take a small nap because i'm tired i woke up early and i drank previous night whatever yeah so i would get up at two o'clock hmm. now from two till eight Hmm. I have six hours now to kill, to figure out something. I will uh, text my friends, all of them are at work. You know, da- I'll download a dating app, I'll swipe, no matches. Right back where we are, back to square one. Hmm. Hmm. And then literally, I'm finally like, you know what, let's write. Hmm. 
sit down open up a premise talk to us and like that is when the time will go time yeah. will move but I, even when you try you think like maybe 3 hours of writing you would have look back 30 minutes would have gone yeah max yeah. 45 minutes you will get tired you will be yeah. like i can't write i'm already brain dead yeah. you'll get hungry you'll start snacking yeah and then you'll start eating cooking or munching all this thing you'll put on weight you'll start go have lunch one heavy lunch one another nap will come yeah you will sleep you will wake up it's already 6 o'clock 6:37 immediately get ready get on the bike and go to the open but the thing they say that uh, the best ideas come to you when you're well rested uh, so you're taking care of that part yeah 100% 100% 100% 100% taking care of that part always fresh uh, always fresh <laughs> always fresh i never had the especially and i remember in my 20s and uh, like late 20s at least sleep wise i was not uh, like i was blessed huh. like i would sleep huh. like now you can't sleep now i have that uh, problem where it's like if i have to sleep i have to create the environment huh, huh, to huh. sleep yeah. i fucking hate my body for that yeah. i used to be that guy who can sleep anywhere uh-huh, uh-huh. you have to create a cradle for yourself and like what the therapy yeah. told therapist told me that uh, it generally happens when you've been through trauma i'm like fuck you man i know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think i don't know that <laughs> so uh, it happens when something big happens in your life and then it it affects your sleep cycle as well yeah. so all this shit like just for 7 8 years when you do that you think you have a lot of time they tell you do now you're going to have a lot of time but mm. trust me you have way more time 24 hours seems long yeah when okay. you have nothing to do so that's why it's good like you know uh, playing sports writing reading books yeah working podcasts, out working out there are should be so many things that in your life that should keep you occupied yeah where you don't get the hint of oh fuck i'm 35 and i'm not successful uh yeah for me it's like i have a dog yeah. i have to make dinner i clean the house yeah. i go to the gym once in that's good because you days. live alone that's at least better because i used to live with parents so even yeah. that was taken care of oh yeah oh my god so like yeah, I, i really had a lot of time yeah i would not have been like now that i'm i've worked for 12 years Financially, I don't have to live with my parents. Ha, understood. It, fe- it's it feels like something I'm looking forward to. Ha, right. No, okay, it's having good. It's, time. Be great. The thing is, you have at least come to a point in your career where you have made the contacts. Yeah. Like into for recording, I quit when I was like, "Dekh lenge." Ha, oh. <laughs> and I was like, ha. "Oh, oh," and then I saw. I saw. Yeah. I saw. 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 I Oh fuck! I had to go back to yeah, yeah, yeah. and you like the all comics say right your adrenaline is already high high and then you just went up you on stage you want to drink and then you're drinking you're fighting with your buddies about comedy because you know that you don't understand comedy huh. and so you argue so much yeah you're like hey what fucking billboard said that hey fuck you Louis huh, yeah and you're just in that toxic zone where you want to prove to the other guy that you're that better my than way of approaching comedy is, is better than your way of better approaching better than yeah. yours without yeah. understanding both of you are going to fail yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but any anyway, you the, the i like the idea of having that discussion but i always go home thinking what i've true uh, the, the thing is see you are at the, when at that age mm. with only like 3 to 4 years of experience even you don't know yeah yeah you're also not. winging it Yeah, but the audacity to believe that you know, uh, be- it's you're just you, you believe whatever is the last thing that you heard you saw, that made yeah, your attention. Uh, exactly. Got your attention. You're not even you're not even thinking. You're quoting. You're just go co- like paraphrasing what you heard. Yeah. So that that whole that and then fighting with someone well, like verbally, you say mean shit. Yeah. You actually take it back home. Yeah, you take it on your head. So it's just I remember in my twenties, it was just a mismatch of me pissed at people who did nothing to me. for something that i was suddenly you think you have a point point to prove to prove exactly. them wrong i'm like you know what nobody's giving me shows nobody's giving me money but at least i will talk that nobody can take away from me <laughs> like you know my opinions <laughs> shall be heard <laughs> that is the 1000 followers milestone of uh, <laughs> avoiding toxicity <laughs> yeah no for me it was there for quite some time bro yeah. so guys sound but trust me it's like how uh, bill uh, millionaires say huh. making your first million is the easiest oh is the toughest is the toughest ah, is sorry toughest. i fucked up the dialogue also they but the other theory is also that right uh, like bands music bands uh-huh. uh, someone wrote a book about this they're like getting the first 1000 fans is the most difficult one ha huh. so don't go for any 1000 people go for 1000 people who absolutely love every single ah, word that comes out true. of you they will evangelize Got your it. work what later. a word what of the day yeah. evangelize <laughs> evangelize what does it mean though evangelize is uh, you know uh, 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 the christian padres uh, they are preaching christianity to other people uh-huh. that is he is taking christianity his teachings and he is evangelizing oh, to other people prachar got it got it got it got it and so prachar prachar 
understand now understand oh wow what a beautiful word mm. pracharam evangelize yeah so evangelize your comedy no no yeah. <laughs> your f- your hopefully fans your fans would, uh, will evangelize how great you are yeah accentuate do you think that word would ka the synonym uh, in this context not in the accentuate is make it better ha uh-huh. ha uh-huh. like, accent make it more ha uh, accentuate your career career yeah, yeah career accentuate your career yeah See, you have to use big words and others do it. Once you uh, <laughs> immediately, yeah. you need to pull you can't out do it. Yeah, like I was yeah. looking at the walls. I give me something. <laughs> yeah. If someone says, uh, uh, "Don't you agree?" I just say, "No doubt." No doubt. Oh, yeah. fair. Oh my God, we have this this, this little nuggets of uh, yeah, corporate insecurity. <laughs> yeah, a lot of insecurity. We're like where you have to. You don't want to disagree. <laughs> you want to finish the conversation. You know, you know how twenty uh, years ago we could do basic math very quickly. Yes. Then we could do twelve point five percent. Yeah. We could do seven point five percent. Now people don't do that because calculator, calculator in your pocket. Yeah. Kids don't grow up doing the basic math. Yes. So sometimes when I want to give an example, right? I'll do the math secretly under the table using calculator. Wow. Then I'll just bring it up and be like, "See, math. I'll give an example. Let's say you make eighty-three thousand rupees, okay? And twelve point five percent of that, da da da. And I'll and the other guy's like, hmm. And and I'll take an extra pause to really sell it. Uh, uh, I'll be like, uh, thirty-three percent. Wow. So let's Jesus. say thirty-three percent. You take thirty-three. You're a social scamster, dude. Dude, dude I'm a sociopath. <laughs> I'm a sociopath who's Ed been Karthigian. taught. Yeah? Ed Karthigian. <laughs> Ed Karthigian. Ed Kemper. Ed Kemper. <laughs> Ed Karthigian. But yeah, socio. Uh-huh. Oh my God, that is crazy shit that you have done. I would also do that, but I don't know. I was just too dumb. I think I was a kid. Uh-huh. I would like uh, try to like do dance. I I was so insecure. Like my insecurity was so stemmed from my. Uh, Uh, my brother's success. Huh. It was like my brother was an overachiever. He was really good at it. So whatever he did, I would want to do that. Huh. Okay. Like he got into dancing. Like I'll dance. Huh. He went into football. I'm like I'll play football. Uh. And he said cricket is stupid. I'm like yeah, cricket is stupid. I loved cricket. Then he said I got married, and you're like oh that oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a limit to everything. Yeah, there's a limit to everything. I'm not doing that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I take a chill pill, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he did. I think he dated also for a while. So he was like five years, six years. He dated this girl, and then huh. he got married. And I was like, "You must th- also be close to her by now, right?" Uh, yeah, like, she's chill. She's chill. Yeah. She, I knew her even before they got married. Ah, yeah, I yeah. knew her. She was his dancer buddy. So she has come home like when my parents are out of town. What kind of dance did you try? Hip hop, uh, lock and pop. Uh, hip hop, not I lock and pop. Hip hop, uh, Indian. Okay. Uh, Bollywood. Okay. History. This thing. Uh, Bollywood is full symmetry, no? It's like, chi 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 chi. Then you do this. Yeah, then you then do, do that. It's all symmetry. It's Left symmetry. side get the right side karo. Ah, uh-huh. one two three four five six seven eight. Five six seven. <laughs> <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight. This is a chakra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And if you want to go creative, diagonal. It's yeah. also like that. Even the lyrics, that whole antara. Yeah, uh, that is the women. Woman will say a line, uh. and the couplet, the the complimentary line, the man says. Yes, it's like I did that fusion. Tu mere paas hai, main tere paas hu. Very conversational. Yeah, very <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Bollywood dances. That's true. That like, uh, especially in colleges or school, they had this thing where they would do like a journey of Bollywood. Hmm. So from the start of sixties, like how Just they like did it. Just like the ten, and 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 Oh yeah, no, no, I'm talking about problem. Ikrar hua. It starts like the, the, yeah. the whole journey. Even the lyrics are like, ha. Huh. And actually, it's done. A, they've done a good job. It's Salim yeah. Suleiman or something. Salim Suleiman. Good they musicians. They did a good job. Yeah. They did a good job with the song. They like we took every generational songs yeah. and then like we did it like, hey, Jaja Shiv Sankar Khan, that like, one. Yeah. And then what was the other thing? Was uh, uh-huh. I forgot something. It was Shami Kapoor's one thing was Yahoo. Uh-huh. That one they played. Ha, huh, yeah, yeah. It was like. And every clip was like fucking Shah Rukh and Kajol. Habadan pe sitar, yeah, that one is there. Lapete hue, but they changed the tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Bollywood dance, you were saying contemporary ah, that yes. through the ages. No, yeah, college, correct, yeah. So whenever we would dance in college, all this thing I've done. So they would do that in college a lot, like a journey. Huh. It was a very common thing. Like a that. medley. Yeah, like a med- correct, that's the yeah, word. Yeah. So And I did that a lot because at that time only Om Shanti Om and this Rabne Panaj Jodi had come. So that was a big deal. Huh. So I did that. Okay. Where it would start like, uh, uh, like you know, when the heroines have to do this and all. Ha ha ha. Like, ha. And the guys like, <laughs> they want a style, you have to do that yeah. dance. So I did that nonsense. <laughs> and then, then, and also the funny thing about college dance is that your costume change huh. happens on the side of the stage. Yeah. Where everybody can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just quickly removing. Yeah, you're just quickly shit. removing. Someone is helping you put yeah. on. And then you're like, huh, yes, miss, yes, miss. And then you run on stage. Yeah, yeah. Everybody can see it. Yeah. You're just there. <laughs> it's not like you went out and then you did like <laughs> Yeah. But you act like it was so seamless. Yeah, it's it was like, so seamless. You act like it's like a F1 f- pit stop. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's already done. Yeah. You didn't even Sometimes it's so funny because uh, you're like half a second or one second late. Huh. So they've already made the formation. Yeah, yeah. And then you slowly walk and then you start like <laughs> <laughs> you stand like nobody has seen I love how the crescendo the end of all college oh. dance performances everyone's supposed to pause, pause. at a certain point yeah. and so many people arrive late some people ek guy to pe, do line pehle aake and then he's like oh shit I forgot should I start no it's too late I'll sit <laughs> <laughs> for me that happened was the funniest I uh, this, the, the whole uh, college team they were supposed to do a pose like this at the end huh. everything this that and all yeah. so everyone nails the pose huh. and one guy saying, he's very on cap okay uh-huh. you know those michael jackson yeah, yeah, yeah. Had. Uh-huh. so uh, his pose is like this or something okay he uh-huh. does that pose and the song ends and then half a second later the cap falls <laughs> <laughs> and it's so beautiful that <laughs> he's just like <laughs> and then he walks so those are a lot of fun days like so i learned dance because of my brother because he was too good at it so i like oh maybe he'll maybe see he my mother would do that. My mother would uh, like, you know, pet us against each other huh. to see like, hey, see, Arun is doing so well. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah. What is wrong with you? I don't think so. You know what? My elder son is more qualified. Uh, oh, lighting. Yeah. Lighting nice. the positive kind of fire. Exactly. Yeah. So they've made us really competitive. But Arun was actually like, dude, he was no denying that because he was very talented and when I at school and all, I've heard like school captain, sports mm-hmm. captain, mm-hmm. NCC gold medalist in shooting. My God. Huh. Yeah, shooting, walking best in Karnataka. Why? He, he was in the same dance team as Anushka Sharma oh. in Army Public School. He, and uh, he told me that he used to hate her. I was like, what happened? It's like, I don't know, it's her vibe, her, she had too much arrogance. I'm like, yeah, dude, she knew she was going to be a star, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. And he used to he's like, yeah, too much arrogance she has. Dude. She's like, oh, what step are we doing right now? And I'm like, just relax. So yeah. uh, he told me the story. I was like, okay, whatever. She, she did that movie when she was 18. Yeah, Ramne, yeah. yeah. So from Army School, she went to Sophia's. Oh, okay. Sophia is a PU college, 11th and 12th. And from there, she did the this thing. Audition. I think she did a college from Mount Carmel. Oh, that's Deepika. Yeah. Deepika Padukone did from Mount Carmel. Fucking everyone's from Bangalore, what? Yeah, a lot of them are like, even Chitraganda. Uh, Chitra- Chitrangada Singh. Chitraganda. I used to call her Chitradurga. Oh, uh, she's so hot, bro. She's very pretty, bro. She's insanely hot. She's an army officer's daughter. Yeah. We take pride in that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like, oh, <laughs> every army officer's daughter I've had a crush on rejected me with such. Uh, non precision. Uh, such precision. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like an NSG like, black a, like a surgical that, attack yeah, of rejection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> surgical strike. <laughs> yeah, I will say no to you at 1800 hours. Uh, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> in the northeast corner you know of how our Amita school. Amitabh Bachchan said in Lakshya, Fal Pak Chuka Hai. Ha. I repeat, Fal Pak Chuka Hai. And I, there's a lot of words and all that, like uh, Hindi word, authentic uh, Hindi words in Lakshya, yeah. you'll use like uh, Barasinga come in, Barasinga, Barasinga come in. <laughs> One more thing is when he has to, he has to give go, go away, go ahead for the mission. Huh. He'll be on the call like all themes, Chorangi, huh. Chorangi, Chorangi. Yeah. And I did, I'm like wow, like when you watch those things, like nice Hindi. Yeah. That Hindi and all I used to love. They, they've taken effort in uh, that dialogue, bro. Javed Akhtar was the writer, bro. Yeah. Uh, Pradap. First, Pradeep. Pr- Pradeep, uh, first, uh, first uh, voice cracks huh, for Amitabh after he sees the flag has been planted at peak 517. Like, <laughs> Pradeep, 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 the next scene is like Pradeep like, sir, signal <laughs> signal, sir. Om Puri, sir. Om Puri. 
पूरी सर को फोन करके देखा ये होता है आर्मी का तजुर्बा आर्मी का नहीं ये होता है तजुर्बा तजुर्बा ये होता है तजुर्बा देखा सर वहाँ पे दो राइफल है सर दो ने व्हाट इज दैट हंड्रेड एम एम मोटर हंड्रेड एम एम मोटर एक नहीं दो है सर वो लोड करने में तीस सेकंड लगता है दस सेकंड लगता है And then he's like, Brigadier, Puri ko bata do ki hamare ladko ne pick five one seven nine par kabza kabza kar le. Objective? Ah, achieved. Achieved. Or forty-five minutes khatam hone mein abhi. Two minutes. Two minutes baaki hai. I love that scene. It's one of my favorite scenes. Even in that, even when uh, uh, this thing Rithik Roshan when he comes back from Delhi, huh. and he's like. आर्मी इंटेलिजेंस के मुताबिक हमें खबर आई है कि हमारे पड़ोसी मुल्क ने हमारे नाजायज फायदा का हमारे हमारे विश्वास का विश्वास का नाजायज फायदा उठा दिया है एलओसी पार करके ब्रास से द्रास से बटालिक तक अपने घुसबैठियां इंटेंस हिंदी वन यू लिसन टू दैट सौ करोड़ नब्बे करोड़ हिंदुस्तानी इस भरोसे के साथ सो रहे इस विश्वास के साथ सो रहे कि तुम और मैं जाग रहे हो इस विश्वास को क्या समथिंग जगाए रखना आई फॉरगॉट दैट डायलॉग वेयर इज लाइक ये बहुत ये विश्वास बहुत बड़ी इज्जत है हां और बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी समझे एंड यस जेंटलमैन या इवन इवन व्हेन व्हेन ऋतिक रोशन फर्स्ट कम्स इज लाइक कम कम लव नो शंगर रिपोर्टिंग सर हां या या लव नो शंगर रिपोर्टिंग सर कम शंगर रिपोर्टिंग सर करण शंगर रिपोर्टिंग सर ही एंड इवन ही इज लाइक इतना कड़क होने की जरूरत नहीं है जरा एट इज एट इज आई लाइक तुम्हें क्या लगता है ये फ्रेम I'm like what? What do you want? <laughs> you are an emote without uh-huh. saying words. Bro. तुम हमेशा कहती थी ना मेरे लाइफ में लक्ष्य नहीं है. अबे वो ही मेरा लक्ष्य. वो ही मेरा लक्ष्य. But that movie actually shot very well though. Yeah. The DOP of that movie is intense. Yeah. Like the way it's the camera. The uh, night the, uh, 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 fight scene. Fight scenes are great. Night and also some of the shots where the trucks are going from A to B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they show the beauty of Leh Ladakh so yeah. nicely. Nadi tango, munjit tera podcast munjit. But anyway, I think we should wrap up on this. One hour, ten yeah. minutes. You have called. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this laptop. Achhi laptop. Achhi. This laptop is the only laptop you should watch. Yeah. Podcast. Uh, this podcast. Uh, Sometimes uh, I glitch, bro. After one hour, I glitch a lot. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this podcast. This is Elephant Room. Uh, my name is Anand Ratnam. Uh, I am still uh, figuring out how to cover up his uh, glitch. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aditya Natarajan. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you soon. Alvida. Shabha khair. cut <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>